Okay, hello everybody, Firex here, welcome to the third video of Let's Make series, where I basically make a mission on camera. It's gonna be another very simple mission this time, and before we begin, you have to forgive me, I do not have anything prepared, I've had quite a long day today, uh, quite a lot of work to do, and I simply didn't have time to prepare anything, so I'm gonna just jump straight into the action. I don't have any units placed on the map. This is completely new. This is completely uh, clear. And I think the mission is simple enough so that I can make it on my first try without any problems. And hopefully you will enjoy it. So if I if I really sound tired or something, it's it's not a problem. I just had a long day today but it's gonna be better. So let's start making a mission. So I have decided to make a steal a car mission. If you remember the times of Operation Flashpoint or the first Arma game that is now called Arma Cold War Assault, one of the first missions that you could encounter there was a mission where you had to steal a Russian Jeep, if I'm not mistaken. And it was guarded by enemy soldiers and you had to sneak in, grab the jeep and get out. Or, of course, um, el eliminate enemy patrols and somehow get to the jeep and away from the city. So that's what we are gonna do. It's gonna be another single player mission. Of course, if you want to do something like this in multiplayer, you will have to adjust the mission accordingly so what i'm gonna do basically it will be a player will start on a random location the jeep will be randomly placed in the city the player will have to get to the jeep get in and drive away and the mission will end that's basically all that we are gonna do so we are gonna make the player's unit just outside the city and we are gonna, basically I could do, what I could do is uh, like write 50 to placement radius and the player would appear anywhere in this location. That's not a bad thing to do, but I'm not gonna do that. Instead, I'm gonna select a few uh, special spots where the player will have a random chance to appear at the start of the mission. We'll move him right after the mission starts. Don't worry, it will be um, it will be all written in the init.sqf along with the randomization of the car position. Okay, so this is the player's unit. We don't really need anything to do with him right now. Um, next thing, we are gonna create the car itself. So it will be... It's not gonna be... I afraid it's gonna be like a truck. Why not? We're gonna call it a truck. Like this. It shouldn't be locked so that the player can get in. And it will be just in this location. I don't really I don't really need to worry about that right now. And next we can continue with the object, so I'm gonna just make a few uh, enemy soldiers. It's gonna be um, a few riflemen from the C-set faction, and I'm gonna make a couple of uh, normal patrols that are gonna be moving around the city, like this, and uh, then I'm gonna make two groups. Smaller groups, if possible. Yeah, four people, that's okay. And these are gonna be just like in the middle of the city, like the biggest force that you can encounter in the mission. After all, you are just one soldier. I can't place like 50 people around here. Let's make like these guys, for example. Alright add some waypoints to the to the patrols basically you want the first waypoint to have the speed limited and behavior safe 
That way the soldier will only walk, he will not run and he will have his weapon lowered. However, once uh, they encounter an enemy, they will switch to the combat stance and they will proceed from there. So, because I'm lazy, I'm gonna copy this dude, I'm gonna delete these ones, and I'm gonna copy uh, a patrol with its waypoints, and I'm gonna just adjust these waypoints over here. Like this. So we have another one. A third one will be patrolling just right over here. I don't really care about the exact waypoints. You can of course play with it a little bit more. You can make all sorts of things. I just want to make uh, a few random patrols all around the city so that I have at least some movement and I'm not like in a in the middle of a ghost city stealing a car. You need to have some enemies in the mission. Alright, two more people around here. Doesn't really matter. I know that the, the village doesn't really continue anywhere, so I'm not gonna make a patrol over here in the in the nothingness. And one more patrol. Just over here. It doesn't really matter. They will just find whatever path they can. Alright. So this is the, it's the patrols. Next we can assign some, some more movement waypoints to the, to the groups. And I want the group to stay after some initial movements. I want it to stay over here in the middle. And the second group, it will do basically the same thing. They will just wander around. Oh, the first waypoint needs to be changed. They will just wander around and after a couple of minutes, they will come to the destination and they will stop. So basically these, these dudes will uh, be stopped on the, on, on this uh, bridge. All right. You can add a lot of other objects into the mission. You can add like locked vehicles and confuse the player even more so that he so that he knows exactly which of the vehicles he has to he has to uh, steal. You can of course do a lot of decoration like furniture in the houses and whatever. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do anything like this. I think that I can start making uh, logic units, so game logic so objects, and this will be car one, and these will be the car locations. So the first one will be over, will be over here, car two. Um, groups drag the line so that these two are not in one group. The second one will be right over here. We have a lot of guards over here, so I'm not gonna place a, a car over here. That would be too dangerous. Car 3, it will be just over here, just along the road. And car 4, the last location, I don't know where to place it. I'm gonna do something like, like this. This is gonna be... No, that's too easy. I'm gonna... Yeah, over here. That, that's okay. Alright. So the car... Basically, what's gonna happen? The car will be initialized over here. It will be spawned over here by the game. But right after that, it will be moved randomly to one of these four spots. Not only that, we are gonna make four another spots. So I'm gonna make P1 for player. So player's first location will be right over here. Player's second location. It could be, for example, over here. I don't really know what place is that, but uh, we can adjust that later. Our third location. 
Let me just see which one is the best. I don't really want to place him over here because that's like too far away from, from everyone else. Alright, let's place him over here. And player 4. Um, over here, for example. Yeah, that that's okay. There has to be some sort of cover. Alright, so this will be all taken care of by init.sqf. Most probably the only uh, script that we are gonna use. Alright, let's make a few triggers around here. We don't need to use scripts. If you want, you can use scripts. I'm not gonna use them because why should I? So anybody count down three seconds and move it move it closer to any units. So right after the mission starts, three seconds later, we're gonna have this trigger activated and we are gonna say something to the radio as always. So player side chat um I don't know. Starting the mission now. Whatever, it can be something more logical than this, but who cares? The same one. Anybody? But this time we are gonna have the countdown like 7 seconds. And we are gonna let our... Um, leader speak so it will be like leader side chat good luck alpha um stay what can you stay stay vigilant that's a nice word and what is this oh the leader okay let's rename it to hq Okay, um, we need to make that unit, so let's make another man, name HQ, place him far away from here to Camp Rogaine for example. Okay, so he will answer to us and we are gonna continue creating triggers. So another one, this time we do not need the activation field because we will use the condition instead. Um, player in car. Count down one second. Player side chat. Um, target vehicle obtained. Moving to the base now. Because we do not really care if the player actually shoots everyone in the village or not if he gets to the car in a stealthy way or in any other way all we need to care about is if he's in the car or if he's not there so once he gets in the message will be uh, shown on the on the screen he will report to his um, to his commanders and of course they will be happy about it. And the last trigger, it will be around over here. And it will be only the player's unit and it will be this. And two conditions, we need to add an AND to it. Player in truck. It reminds me, the, it's not car, it's truck. God damn it. Okay, player in track. Now we need to uh, select groups. Click on this, drag it to the player's unit. It will be connected from now on and only the player can activate it. Alright, so once the player gets over here and he is actually in the track, the mission will end. This is our ending trigger. Okay, 
Uh, one of the last things that we need to do is add some waypoints to the player. So he needs to uh, search for the vehicle. Like this. And condition will be player in uh, truck. Once he gets in, this waypoint will, hopefully, it will get deleted. I'm gonna um, have the completion radius to 100, even more. One hundred and fifty. Okay, so wherever he finds the vehicle, this waypoint, once he gets in, this waypoint will get marked as a completed one and he can move on. Description escape. Yeah, something like this. That's okay. Um, do we need anything else? We will, of course, add uh, some endings to this in the description.txt if you want. If not, you can just um, get the end number one and it will just end immediately. I want to have some something of a smoother transition from the mission to the end, so I use the debriefing sections and the closing shots. It's really not a lot of work and it looks much better. Let's save this. Um, make steel car so that I know what the mission is about and we can go on and make some scripts so I'll see you in a couple of seconds okay we are um, in the script in idiot.sqf and we can start by uh, declaring two random numbers and it will be r1 is random Four random three and R two is also random three. It will be random six just for a change. Okay. Um let's make something like this. R one is floor R one. And R2 is floor R2. What this does is the random number gener generator. It creates a random number with a few decimals. And we don't want that. We don't need that. So we will convert the decimals. We'll just bring them down. So... Uh, if if we get like 2.45, it will uh, it will round it to f to only two, and that is a number that we can work with. So let's add. You can add, um, for example, a few if then statements. So it will look like this: um, if R1 is zero, then the first part of the code will get uh, completed. If R, R1 is 1, then another part of the code can be uh, completed. If R1 is 2, then and if R1 is 3, then like this yeah yeah that sounds about right so this is the random number generator for the car uh, spawning process so you can just add truck set pos position uh, what is that um Truck 1 or is it car 1? Let me just check. Uh, 
It's car one. All right, car one. I confuse myself with my variable names. Truck, set pos position car two. Truck, set pos position car three. And truck, set pos position car four. So this moves the truck around. You could also, if you don't want to have the if then, I think that you could do a switch. Something like switch R R1. Case 1, case 2 and so on. I actually do not know, I'm not sure right now because it's been a long time since I've used a switch uh, in in uh, SQF. I am used to the uh, C++ look of the of the command, so I I don't really know. I'll I'll just um, I'll not bother you with this right now, and I will add it to the pastebin page, or not to the pastebin page. I will add it to the script once I uh, am finished with the mission. So you will find it in, well, once you download the mission, you will find it in the script there. Not right now. All right, so we have basically um, all the problems are taken care of. We have the car, uh, it's moving around. And then we can do practically the same, th same thing for uh, the second variable. So I'm going to copy that, change the R1 to R2. And because we have the sixth number over here, we can actually add two conditions. So if R2 is zero or if it is four, then the first part of the code will be completed. If it's one or five, if it's two, or six and if it's three then well we do not have the number seven over there so I can't really change that okay p1 p2 p3 p4 I didn't say that all of these um, possibilities would be balanced you can of course balance that give everyone the same chance I don't want that you have basically a bigger chance to spawn on the first three positions than on the fourth. That there's nothing wrong with that. Change the track to player. I'm just gonna copy that because I'm lazy. Like this, super quick. We have everything prepared. Let's hit save. And we can go back to the mission editor. Okay, here we are back in the editor. Um, basically, almost everything is prepared. I'm gonna do just one last thing, and that is to add some tasks, because we haven't done that in quite a while, and I want to do that right now. So, let's create a task. Task one will be the ID steal a vehicle will be the name description steal a civilian truck will be the description the marker I don't really want to do that the destination will be disabled and the state is created all right let's synchronize this we want this to uh, give it to the player and synchronize it with this waypoint so that it's um, launched automatically after the mission is started okay let's make another one task 2 escape escape 
state created. All right. I don't know why I have created it on a, such a weird place, but it doesn't really matter. Like this. So um, the task will be created after we have entered the truck. Another one. Set task state. Succeed it. The task succeeds once we are in a truck. So it's the first one. And the second one is succeeded once we um, reach our uh, final destination. That is over there. Okay, let's create one more. Um, it will be a failed one. Let's make a trigger for it. Damage truck. That's a number from 0 to 1. It's bigger than 0 0.94. That's basically... The truck is no longer under your control. Is what I'm trying to say. The truck is so destroyed that you cannot drive anywhere. You probably have all your tires uh, gone and it's um, it's basically mission mission over mission end failure so this is what we are gonna do we gonna have some tasks over here we have a, a successful ending we have a bad ending if the truck gets destroyed then of course you cannot steal it any anymore and the player's death if, is of course another ending so one last thing we are gonna go to the description.ext to um, make the endings and that's basically all for the mission we do not need anything else so let's go very quickly to the description.ext okay description.ext it is i'm gonna just copy the code and this is a uh, the code from the from the last mission if i'm not mistaken it's the make sniper and i'm um, i just i can't explain anything in this um you have seen it plenty times and it's always the same instead while i'm uh, fixing these these descriptions i'm gonna tell you um i need to Every time I switch from Arma to um, my desktop or to my other applications, like these scripts, I need to um, I need to change the recording settings because my recording software doesn't allow me to record the game and then immediately alt tap out of the game and still continue recording. You can also see that the that it always looks different while when I'm recording scripts because I always need to adjust it to the script um, window and it's always different and it's really it's 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 really what um so that's also why I say um see you in a couple of seconds and all of that because I actually have to uh, stop my recording set it up for the scripts then start it again do uh, some work in the in the script itself and then uh, stop it again set it up for the game go to the game and i can continue so yeah this is the description.txt let's hit save and go to the mission where we are gonna test it and then that's it Okay, we are in the mission. If if everything goes uh, correctly, then the mission will be completed. If there are some problems, that I then I will fix them. We'll add this set captive true to the player so that I can properly test it and I don't have to worry about uh, enemy soldiers. Never forget to delete this line once you are releasing the mission to the public. One of the biggest mistakes that you can do 
and you don't really want to do that all right so we are on a place number two or three i don't i don't uh remember we have the conversation with the hq over there starting the mission now good luck alpha stay vigilant and we can now quickly move to the waypoint and we also have seen the task steal a vehicle steal a civilian truck so that we know what to do and most players what what they are gonna do is they are gonna follow the waypoint so we're gonna go there you can see that there's nothing over there and the waypoint actually says wait which is an indicator that there actually is not what you expect let's see huh? the truck is over here so it has been moved as well to the location of uh, the game logic unit it is no longer on the crossroads and we can enter it there is the escape we have the task created task completed steal a vehicle we can now escape the village now we have to actually oh this is the wrong way we have to go through the village in order to escape so this is a little bit more complicated and you might have to uh, eliminate most of the enemy forces before be, be, uh, before you actually escape but that is not my concern the player can do whatever he wants if he wants to um, I don't know choose another path he can as long as he gets to the final waypoint in the end all is forbidden all is okay all right task completed C completed escape i haven't added the endings yet that doesn't really matter all right so back to the editor one last uh, thing we'll add the endings so end one call this FNC and mission I do not remember it's been so long since I have done this thing I haven't been in Arma 3 I haven't been editing for like three or four weeks it's been so long all right this should work test it again you can of course make all the overview all the I don't know intros and stuff like this you can adjust that however you want I'm not gonna do that because as I said it's not really worth the, my time right now and you don't want to sit here for 30 more minutes just watching me do some silly stuff that doesn't affect the mission in the end you can see that the car has been moved again we have started in the same location but the car is not over here so i'm gonna have to look for it elsewhere all right let's speed this up a bit and there are four locations and i know that there are only four locations but the player doesn't know that and he will actually have to search the village quite well this might be a nice multiplayer mission as i said it is not yet at, at this moment it is not um created for multiplayer but you know it might be all right we have obtained the vehicle let's move you can of course rotate the vehicle however you want you have four cases over there in the Inida desk you have you can customize them however you want if you want for example if you want it to rain when uh, the car is in the south you can do that it doesn't really matter okay let's escape and see if the endings work 
and that will be the last thing here mission completed so yeah i think that another mission has been done this was a very very quick one a very easy mission but it's nice and you know it has been in the games from like since the since the year 2000, 2001 so it's not that bad. Like you, you remember this uh, mission from the Operation Flashpoint. Nice mission nonetheless. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope to see you all in the next one. Comment, like and share. And have a great day.